How are you doing today on this cold, windy day? It's like 40-something degrees outside. Hubby and I are on our way to Pat Steaks in South Philly and also Geno Steaks to try the steak for the first time. In all these years we lived in Philly, we've never tried their steaks. So we're going to try them today just to see how they taste. There's Hubby. I, I tried Pat Steaks and Gino. She never had it. So I'm taking her up, up here now so she can try uh, Pat's and Gino Steaks. Um, we want to review view the steaks and uh, let y'all guys know how they really taste. But I had them before and they don't taste, they're not all that. But uh, she wants to try. So, you know, happy wife, happy life. You got that? So we're close to downtown Philly. We're now approaching the art museum. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of uh, downtown Philly. Um, we're going to ride past the Art Museum and I think the Rocky Statue, the um, City Hall, and um, I don't know, I forget. I haven't been downtown Philly in a minute, but we're just going to, you know, film it and just show you our little, our little historical sites in Phil downtown Philly. This is Kelly Drive. And on the right side of the street, you're going to see the art museum. I don't know what that statue is. Never really noticed it. You noticed that before, or was that new? No, I never noticed that statue. I don't know what that was. Everybody around the Rocky Wow, there's a lot of people out here today. Everybody around the Rocky Statue. You know the tourists can't come to Philly without coming to that statue and taking their photo. Look at the line. Jeez. In that Rocky statue? Mm -hmm. The art museum. On the weekends, there's always some sort of activity always. to do in downtown Philly. Tours holding up the traffic. <laughs> oh, they changed it. The little flags hanging from the, the lamp poles used to be flags of the different uh, countries. It's still there, but they got the uh, desk coming up. Oh, okay. They had a Philadelphia Marathon coming, uh, I think next weekend, or that's why they got these flags up here. Uh. Oh, okay, this is what I was talking about. Down by the art museum area, this whole strip is um, different flags from the different countries. I think this is so cool. And straight ahead, there's William Penn. That's City Hall. And you can see William Penn on the top, the statue of William Penn. Here's the Franklin Institute. Where's the Please Touch Museum? Mm -hmm. Did we pass the Please Touch Museum? That's over there on the other side right there. Mm -hmm. Dinosaur Museum. There's the Dinosaur Museum. Hmm. 
the statue of William Penn. That's new. I don't remember seeing that. This is our SEPTA bus. This is the clothespin. That's been there for forever. What bank was that back in the day? I don't know. I think it was Mellon Bank or something. That was years ago. Here's the up close of William Penn. It is like so congested down here. It's ridiculous. The Ritz Carlton Hotel, very fancy smancy place. McCormick and Smith's. Very nice restaurant. Delicious, delicious food. Kind of pricey, too. And we're now on the Avenue of the Arts. This is where our, um, our theaters are. All right, we're at Pat's. Look at all these people. Mm, it smells good too. And here's Gino's. These lines are all the way around the corner of the steakhouse, literally. That was not as bad as pets. That was not bad as pets. They are cutting up out here on this Saturday afternoon. This is the line for Pat States. It goes all the way around to the right and it continues all the way around the corner. This is Gino's line. It's 9th Street. 9th and Federal, but we just 
say 9th Street. And you can come down here to purchase anything. Like this is the, I guess the Italian market and um, it's all different types of restaurants. This is where we come when we want to eat crabs during the summertime. We come down here for live blue crabs. Um, it's all different types of stores. So fresh um, seafood markets, different little restaurants. I cleaned this place up. Mm -hmm. Messed up that. Look like they have a Spanish restaurant there, mole something. Barbacoa. So the next time you guys see us, we'll be tasting Pat versus Gino steaks. Hmm, I wonder which one tastes better. <laughs>